Good morning and welcome to Cindy's Kitchen. If you're new, welcome. We're so glad that you're joining our cooking community. Make sure that you say hello and tell us where you're from. If you're watching the replay, please don't forget hashtag replay. And again, where are you from? We like to welcome everyone. All right, so we're gonna start with a big soup pot. See, I've got a big soup pot here. And we're gonna start with just a little oil. Now you can use whatever oil you want. I'm using canola oil and um, a tablespoon or two in the bottom. Now, as most soups um, or sauces that I make, we're gonna start out uh, with pretty much the same thing I always start out. All right, so what do we always start out with? We always start out with some onions, right? Um, that light is kind of bright, so anything I show you that's white is kind of hard to see. My apologies. We're gonna have some celery. If I got closer, maybe. There we go, celery. Celery. This is two stalks of celery that I've diced up. This is just one onion that I've cut up, all right? And then of course, M Mama's favorite, we got some garlic, some minced garlic. This is not roasted garlic because I still need to make some more. That's what we're gonna start with, our little base. We're gonna saute that. All right, so we've got our heat on kind of a medium high. All right, in goes our onion. In goes the celery, two stalks of celery, one onion diced. Two stalks of celery. We're making broccoli cheese soup, Sherilyn. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a pinch of salt, because we need to season in layers, always, always, and a pinch of pepper, okay? Now we can just give that a toss, just to make sure that all of the veggies are bathed in the yummy oil, mmm. Now I have purchased this big bag of broccoli florets. Um, I would say though, if you're making this from scratch, uh, maybe you know one head, a good size head of broccoli would be fine. So these have started to soften, and you know, really, when you're cooking onions and celery, you really want them to have that translucent look, where they're not like bright white anymore, because um, you're kind of looking for them to be a little see-through. That's what the translucent is. But since we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and dump my broccoli in. Um, and again, cheaty, cheaty, because it's already cut up. Good. Now you will need a blender. I'm gonna give this a toss, and then I'm gonna add some liquid in here. I'm going to add one, let's see, what is it? A 14 ounce can of chicken stock. You can use veggie stock, and then we'll just use it by the can. What did I say, 14 ounces? Then we're gonna use just some plain old water, okay? One, two, so 28 ounces, there we go. I'm gonna put the lid on this and just kind of let this go because I need this to pull up to a boil, right? The broccoli cheese soup is gonna be more of a smooth soup and so there's really no chewing in there. Although you could add chicken in there if you wanted. Um, so that being said, I thought, well, let me give you a bonus idea for maybe you have your soup, but then we add a bonus. So I took those medium shells and I only did about six ounces because I'm gonna make a small one. I boiled them, you know, just according to directions with a little, in a little salted water, drained them, and then I just put a little oil on them so they don't stick together so badly. And again, these are the medium shells. You can use any kind of pasta that you have. We're gonna use this for our bonus meal. Everybody say moo. Moo. All right, that's all the butter in there. And it's six tablespoons. Six tablespoons of butter we've got in here. Remember, anytime we make a white sauce, we're gonna divide, we're gonna make sure we have equal parts of fat and flour. So if you decided not to use butter and you used oil, you certainly could do that. Just not the same flavor, right? And then of course I have six tablespoons of flour here that once this is melted, we're gonna use. All right, we're boiling. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I guess we could go ahead on our cheese sauce. Should we start the cheese sauce? I had a particular order. The, the pastor at our church has a saying, and he always, uh, and they come in a particular order, and order matters. And he said it so many times, just like I say things all the time, you know, I repeat, la la la, and all the things that I say. Anyway, so when he gets to there, and he goes, and it comes in a particular order, and, and he pauses, and the whole congregation says, 
order matters. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Mother had no patience to cook. She said there were only needs to be two buttons on the stove, high and off. How funny. Sounds like your husband. <laughs> All right, so let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Mmm. We need this to cook just a little. I just need that broccoli to be a little softer uh, than it is because it's going in the food processor, and, I mean the blender. And even though I have a Ninja, ee, I'm a little nervous. So here's my Ninja. There we go. So that's what we're gonna put it in. Anyway, for our sauce, again, equal parts of fat and flour. So six tablespoons of fat or but butter is what I'm using six tablespoons of flour. And then once we get in that, we're gonna be using heavy cream and milk, right, to make our sauce. And then we're gonna add our cheeses. Now today's cheeses are, I'm using a medium cheddar. This is, if you're wondering, I, this is actually shredded here. Uh, it's the Tillabrook, 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 I think, medium cheddar cheese. I really wanted the Kerrygold uh, cheddar because it is just phenomenal, but the store didn't have any. So, hello, John. Hello, Deborah. Good to see you. Have any of you ever had the Kerrygold cheese? Now, I, you probably have had the Kerrygold butter, which is out of this world, but the Kerrygold cheese is good too. And then the, and that's a good cheese, but in this, you really need a melting cheese, right? For a good cheese sauce, you really need a good melting cheese. And cheddar's pretty good. It's a pretty good thing. But I also have two cups of Gruyere. Where am I today? I'm it, just in front of the stove. I'm still in the kitchen. I just, we had stove stuff to do today. So anyway, this is two cups of Gruyere. I never say it correctly, Gruyere. Anyway, a little pricey, but worth it. I've been only buying brick cheese and shredding it myself. It is a different loisin, it tastes different. And part of it is because when they shred the cheese, they have to put non-caking agents, which is not harmful for you and it doesn't really change the nutritional value. Um, but they have to put non-caking agents in there so the flour doesn't stick together. For me, I don't know, it does change the taste. And so I like, there you go, shredding it, there you go. Okay. We are done with that, we are done with that, we will need this. All right, I think this is good. I'm gonna pull this over here and set it just a second, and we're gonna go ahead and put our butter on. All right, so now we're gonna melt our butter. I'm gonna let this set just for a little bit. I just want my broccoli soft. I just want it soft. Okay, this is the, um, several of you have been asking where I got my purple sparkles. My Purple Sparklies, uh, it's a Rachel Ray set. And you know, you get what you pay for. If you paid five or $600 for a set of pots and pans, well, they should last you forever, and that's great. But if you pay $99 for a set of pots and pans, I don't know, three or four years, then you gotta get a new set. So it's up to you. You add a dollop of sour cream to your cream soups, add another layer of flavor. Oh, I wish I had sour cream, Terry but I used the last of the sour cream yesterday in my buffalo chicken dip. Oh, so good, so good. All right, so our six tablespoons of butter is melting. I'm gonna let it get a little bit more melted. And then of course, let me get this. I think I'm gonna use my spurtle, my purtle spurtle, I think is what I'm gonna use today. All right, so most of you know how to make a white sauce. I know you do. Um, so this is nothing new for you. A lot of times when I do these recipes, I feel a little bad because I feel like I'm explaining things that everybody already knows about. Uh, the other day when we did all the cakes for gifts and a couple of you said, oh, I don't use box mixes, I only make them from scratch. And I prefer that as well, but not everybody can do that or does it. Good morning, Judy. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take my flour. Okay, so remember, six cups of butter, six cups of flour, and I'm gonna put my flour in. Okay. And then we're gonna make, which most people would say, a roux, okay? So can you see, I'm gonna turn this just a wee tad so you can see down in the pan, okay? 
So it's almost like we're, I always feel like I'm making Play-Doh, right? Um, but you do wanna stir. You wanna make sure you try to get your flour lumps out. And it takes maybe, I don't know, a minute or two because, and you wanna keep stirring, you don't want it to see how we're going, but we do want a little color on it. And we want to, the main purpose of sauteing this the way you do um, is, like if you were making an etouffee or a gumbo, you would want this like a dark color. You would cook it and cook it and cook it, like right until it turns. Hello from downtown Chicago. Oh, I know who that is. Rebecca Gingler has the Cindy's Kitchen on. <laughs> we, we put ourselves on each other's page so we could post some things. And so now we show up as each other. All right, so there, there it is. You see, it's kind of puffy. Now I'm gonna add, maybe I'm gonna add. Okay, here we go. I have one cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna stir while I put it in, okay? There we go. One cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna turn my heat down. I had it on high. Okay. Then we're gonna get some milk. Now I only have 2% in the house because that's what everybody drinks. So there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and put in one cup right now. I know you're going, where's the broccoli? We'll get there. We'll get back to the broccoli. You can use a spatula. A lot of times people will use a spatula. LaDonna, good morning. Um, but since the spurtle has holes in it, I thought that would be fine. So we're just stirring, stirring. And then, you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. I usually wait until I've added all my liquid, but I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, two pinches of salt, which is about a teaspoon, because you all always ask, and a pinch of pepper. Um, you could use white pepper if your family, how could be in Houston, Chicago at the same time? I'm everywhere, Gail. <laughs> uh, if people in your family don't like pepper, um, but you know that you still need some of that flavor, um, do what we did the other day and just use white pepper. White pepper is fairly easy to find, um, so I would suggest that. All right, now we're gonna add another cup of milk. Where's the one cupper? There we go. Another cup of milk in there. So, so far we have uh, one cup of heavy whipping cream and two cups of just regular milk. And again, all I had was 2%. I don't want you, as a general rule, I don't want you to have to buy specific milk, milk when we're making a recipe. So that's why I say it's fine. All right, I'm gonna add one more cup of milk. So three cups of milk. I know you're going, what? That's a lot. But I'm making two recipes here. Okay, three cups of milk. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna let this come. Uh, I'm gonna let this heat through before I start adding cheese. And so while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and pulse. Ah, oh, we're gonna go ahead. So look, there's our broccoli with our onion, our celery, and our garlic. All right. And we had chicken stock in there, and we had some water, okay? So this is my blender. I have a Ninja, so you can use whatever blender you have. Be careful, because, you know, I've, I've seen on, you know, when some people cook, that they're, um, they try to put, pick up the pot and just pour all this hot liquid into their blender, and that really... So dangerous. I mean, you really, really, oh. Okay, I may need to do half and half. I am, I'm gonna use this that had milk in it. It's fine. And I'm gonna add some of this liquid because if we just put broccoli in there and no liquid, then we'll have um, more of a, I don't know, a paste. So, good morning, Diane from Michigan. All right, so I'm gonna put this and put the lid on. Well, maybe I am. There we go. And go. 
gonna have to pour that out so we can do the other half. All right, so our mil our cream sauce is warming up. And the reason I'm waiting, because you might have gone, hey, you didn't put any cheese in there. Remember that we just added um, heavy whipping cream and three cups of milk. Well, those aren't warm. So I wanna make sure that I bring this up so it's almost to a boil. We don't really wanna boil the milk, um, but we want it where there's probably some little bubbles so that once we put the cheese in there, the cheese melts really easy. All right, I'm going to, can you see me over here? Here I am. Boy, this is very hot. All right, I'm gonna pour this into a larger bowl. There we go. All right, and then I can put the rest in. Cause I did do a mess of broccoli. I mean a mess of broccoli I did. You can, if you don't have a spider, this is the spider. If you don't have a spider, you could always use um, a slotted spoon. That would be fine. You just want to get all that in there. Uh, let me see. I'm going to use this so I can get some more liquid out of there. So I have more of a soup consistency versus a paste consistency. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to put the lid back on and do this second set, second batch. All right. And on we go. Obviously, I told you that I'm using a Ninja. If you don't have a really powerful blender, then please feel free instead to use a food processor because that would work just as well. Okay, I'm going to bring this over so you can see it. <gasps> Yum! Oh, this is good all by itself. Now, there's still water in there, which is fine. I'm going to pour... Um, I don't want to lose any of this, so I'm going to use my spatula to get it all in there. Can you see? Mmm, yum, yum. All right. Good Bible. Mmm. All right, my cheese sauce is boiling. All right, so that means it's hot. We're going to add almost all. So we have two cups, so I'm going to add almost all of it. I'm going to reserve... I don't know, maybe half a cup uh, for what happens next. All right, so, and then here's my Gruyere. I never say that right. Okay, there we go. And now we're gonna start stirring. Oh, this is when the magic happens. Hi, Janet. It looks like pea soup. That's not silly, girl. I made pea soup on here one day. And everybody, ooh, they went, ugh, gross, pea soup. I love split pea soup, especially homemade split pea, not out of a can, that is gross. Homemade split pea soup with homemade garlic butter croutons. Mmm, yum. Ouch, 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 ouch. It's so hot. All right, look at this. Are you looking? Look at the cheese. Oh my gosh, is that the most wonderful thing ever? Why, yes, Cindy, it is. All right, we're going to, let me see the best way to do this. If I pour or if I scoop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour. <coughs> Pardon. <coughs> I got all excited. The cheese got me excited. <coughs> Gree air. There we go. <coughs> see? <coughs> Gosh. <coughs> oh, I got all choked up. Hold on, sip of coffee. Okay, I'm gonna put half of my cheese sauce in here. 
I just poured. There we go. Half of my cheese sauce. So now I have half left. Oh, now it's all green and creamy. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Yum. Yum. Now, I do want a little bit more um, of the chicken flavor. So I do have one more 14 ounce can of chicken stock that I'm going to put in. And again, it's just another layer of flavor. I am a little eerie about all these cans of chicken stock that I buy to use on the show because really it is so not, um, not a good thing. Okay, I'm going to move things around because I want this to heat all the way through. I'm gonna put the lid on it. I'm gonna have to taste it for salt and pepper. Now, remember the bonus meal? I need a sip or two of rum chata. I do, don't I? <laughs> all right, remember our noodles. We have our noodles and we have our cheese sauce, okay? Let me put this aside. Now, I'm gonna get, hold on. What am I getting? Oh, ugh. spray. Now, this is a small dish. This is not a big dish because I just used six ounces, six, eight ounces of pasta. So I didn't get a big one. This is probably, I don't know, two and a half inches tall and probably eight inches. This is either a six or an eighter, okay? All right, so that being said, I'm gonna give this a spray. Set that aside. I'm going to take my noodles. Remember, these were medium shells and into our, the remainder of our cheese sauce. Yum. Yum. Oh, have we just made mac and cheese, Cindy? <gasps> yes, we have just made mac and cheese. And it is going to be the most lovely mac and cheese you have ever had. Yum. All right, now, because it should be, you could leave this just like it is, but I'm not. Because you know me, I, I mess with things. So I'm going to take about a cup, yep, a cup, of my soup mix that already had the cheese in it too, and put that in there. Oh, look at that. Because we all need our veggies, right? Okay, so now we have a broccoli mac and cheese. Oh, but we don't have big chunks in it. Okay, now, you could just sit and eat this. I could just sit and eat this. Come on, give me some thumbs up or some yums or, hey, that looks delicious, but we're not done. Oven, uh, put it on high broil, just so it'll heat up faster. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We have our tiny little baking dish, right, that we spray. I'm gonna put half, oof, oof, making a mess cheese everywhere half in the bottom of my bowl my baking dish i'm gonna take some more of our cheese because really can there be too much cheese i know those of you who are lactose intolerant are cringing at me right now aren't you cringing i say um if you made a bigger bowl of this a bigger baking dish uh you would use more cheese but my the square footage is smaller than i thought it was going to be so there you go so that's another layer of oh, cheese. What's for dessert? Oh, you know what? Last night, Cassie made cake balls. Mm, they were so good. She made homemade cake and then um, white chocolate. Dipped them in white chocolate. They are to die for. So good. I like having her home. She's the dessert queen. All right, look at that. Is that lovely? Do you think that that is the cat's pajamas? Wait, there's more. Okay. Okay, there's more. I'm gonna move this right here and I'm gonna have a bowl here. Here's what we're gonna need. I know, you're going, Cindy, more, more? Yes, but it's just another layer. I probably should've used a bigger casserole dish. All right, I'm gonna use a half a cup. I know I have the cup, but you know me and finding stuff finding stuff after I've laid it all out. Panko breadcrumbs, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. 
It can be grated or shredded. This was shredded, um, not, grate, not grated. So we're gonna add, I'm gonna use a whole cup of panko breadcrumbs. Mm, yum. A teaspoon of smoked paprika. Now you're gonna go, what? But I swear this makes it, it's like this whole explosion in your mouth, right? It's so awesome. And then four tablespoons of melted butter. Four tablespoons of melted butter. In we go. Ooh, mama's got a mess. All right, I'm just gonna use this and we're gonna stir. Okay, so it's just four tablespoons of butter. So basically, you're wetting, you're wetting, wetting the panko breadcrumbs and the uh, uh, Parmesan cheese. So now we've used three different kinds of cheese. Come on, tell me that your taste buds are not like going, ha! Ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my hand because you know how this is, right? Or maybe I just dump it all in the center. Ooh, let's do that. I'll dump it all in the center. Now, because I use such a small dish, I'm gonna have to put a baking dish underneath this in case it bubbles over. That would be bad, right? Okay, so now we're just gonna spread it all over so that we have this awesome, fantastic, delicious, crunchy little bit on top. Oh, so good, so good. Oh, something, there was a big bang. Okay, oh, Jessica's getting a baking dish because I said I needed a baking dish. She's so awesome, best sous chef ever. Okay, there we go. What do you think? Come on, tell me you love it. Tell me that you're in heaven. Oh, okay. Oh, I got stuff on my fingers now. Okay, gotta, gotta get it off. Okay, now I gotta dry, dry, wet and dry. All right, this is going in a 350 degree oven. Everything's cooked, really. We're just browning the top. So really about 15 minutes. We don't need a whole lot, all right? All right, so now, while that's cooking, let's return our attention to yummy soup. I need a, I need a, there we go. Mmm, look at this. Now, this may be thinner than you like your soup. I think it's a great broth, and it's good in a mug. Um, it's good in the, the souples with the handles, um, but it's, it's not overly thick. Because it has the cheese sauce in it, the longer that it sets and the longer that it cooks, it will thicken up. But, uh, you know, I like it this way. So, here's what we're gonna do. Remember my coffee mug? With the little, um, look, I'm gonna go close. Look, with the little dragonflies. Isn't that beautiful? Look, I have a matchy bowl. So, sip of coffee. Mm. Matchy bowl. I wish I'd made some homemade croutons. Wouldn't that have been lovely? Homemade croutons? Mmm. So this is more of a brothy soup. If you want this a little thicker, in the end when I added that other can of chicken stock, you could have left that out. And then this would have been a little thicker. Can you see? I'm going to get up close. It's hard with that light. There. Can you see? Can you see? So it's not a brilliant green. It's a never tried mac and cheese. Oh, never tried mac and cheese? Oh my. And you have to come to the United States. You have to come to the United States and you have to come see me. I'll make sure you get some awesome mac and cheese. I know, I love it too. It makes me happy. All right, so here I'm gonna blow because it's very hot. Oh, but wouldn't this be lovely with some homemade garlic butter croutons? Mmm, I may have to make some. Mmm, mmm. You can taste the butter. Mm. You can taste the cheese, but you notice not unlike our mac and cheese, you don't have the string of the cheese, right? Because we've, we've thinned that out. So you have all the lovely flavor of the cheese, um, and the butter, mm, and the cream, mm. and you're getting your veggies. How cool is that? 
All right, so that is our broccoli cheese soup. Let's take a gander. Let's take a gander and see. Oh no. Oh no. We we burnt the top. We burnt the top. I put it on a broil so it would be done in time. Okay, so there you go. Sorry, it's a little brown on the top. You see that? But that'll be all right for us today. All right, let me get a big spoon. Let me see. I don't like any of those. I'm just going to use this. All right, you ready? Yum. Oh, yum. Oh, crunchy. Look, I have to go through the crust. Oh, I do so love that. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Look at that. Look how lovely that is. Mmm. Let me get a little bit more. All right. Ready? Here we go. That doesn't look burnt to me. It is yummy. You were in Houston last month? Oh, Okay, look, look, mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, so I'm gonna get some of that lovely crust because to me, that's like part of the best. <gasps> Runny cheese, ready? Mmm, 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 mmm. Great mac and cheese, very, several layers of cheese taste and you can taste them all. That's the great thing. It's not just like, oh, cheddar cheese, right? You can taste the different cheeses. And then that crunch on the top with the Parmesan and the panko and the butter and the smoked paprika, it's just enough to give it that mm, 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 mm. So today, a lovely broccoli cheese soup and using our broccoli cheese soup and the remainder of our cheese sauce, we have a fantastic mac and cheese. Is my Wednesday night Bible study open? Sure it is. Uh, this Wednesday, tomorrow night is the last night, but you can go back and watch any of them that you want to. Uh, you just go to Windwood PC, W-I-N-D-W-O-O-D PC. It's a Presbyterian Church Facebook page. And you can go back and watch any of the videos that you'd like. They're all available for anybody. It's a, you don't have to ask permission. You just go to the website and you can watch all of them. Good, it's our last one. All right, well, I hope everybody had a great day today. Mm. We've gotten our, our veggie in. Of course, a healthy amount of cheese to go with our veggie, but I'm counting that as, as our dairy requirement for the day. Listen, you guys have an awesome day. And from my house to yours, I hope that this comfort meal, whether it be the broccoli cheese soup or the broccoli cheese mac and cheese, uh, really warms your heart, warms your body, and and... I don't know, puts a smile on your face. You guys have an awesome day. Come on down, Joanne. Love to have you. Bye, everybody.